Hello my dear friends, we are today recording for Hegel's Phenomenology of Spirit. So we have already seen that Hegel differentiates between matter and form and form relates to the um, solicited force and matter is the soliciting force and this flow into each other where the soliciting force becomes the solicited and the solicited becomes the soliciting. So they flow into each other and the kind of surpassing uh, is uh, uh, the force. So force uh, itself um, uh, becomes a force, core force, a notion, core notion, uh, which uh, results in a loss of reality. So reality exists as a super sensible, where there is no difference between subject and object, because they um, exist in the, uh, they they pertain to the abyss of the soul, abyss of the universe, that eternal primordial darkness, where there is no difference between object and subject. Here, Hegel is a pure new materialist. Whether you can use pure in that context, I am not sure. So. Yes, so uh, and so law itself, uh, law itself uh, uh, becomes um, uh, the pure law. Law becomes the law of the uh, force. Um, uh, so this uh, this existence of the super sensible, uh, the reality is uh, what Hegel calls the understanding. So law is what Hegel would call uh, the truth of the understanding is called law. Truth of the uh, law is the uh, truth of the understanding. It is the law of force. Uh, okay, truth. Uh, um, is the uh, law of understanding. So force on the on hand is uh, singular and undifferentiated but understanding is uh, differentiated for Hegel. Uh, so force has to be differentiated. Force is differentiated and uh, again in a Hegelian move and um, uh, understanding is undifferentiated and vice versa. So let's see. In the tautological movement, the understanding as understanding and force as force as we have seen sticks into the inert unity of its object. And the movement falls only within the understanding itself, not within the object. It is an explanation that not only explains nothing, but is so plain that while it pretends to say something different from what has already been said, really says nothing at all but repeats the same thing. Uh, so do you ever access the object or the understanding of the object? It really says nothing at all but only repeats the same thing. In the thing itself, this movement gives rise to nothing new. It comes to consideration as a movement of the understanding. In it, however, we detect the very thing that was missing in the law, namely the absolute flux. Uh, for the movement, when we look at it more closely, is directly the opposite of itself. That is to say, it posits a difference which is not only a difference for us. So, pure difference is the law, but only um, one which the movement itself cancels as a difference. So this movement cancels these differences as an explanation. This is the same flux which presented itself as the play of forces. This contained the distinction of soliciting and solicited force or force expressing itself and force repressed unto itself. But these were distinctions which in reality were not distinctions and therefore were also immediately cancelled again. What is present here is not merely bare unity in which no uh, difference could be posited but rather a movement in which a distinction is certainly made but because it is not distinction again cancelled. This process of cancellation of differences is we call explanation the two to and fro change which before the before was outside of the inner world and present only in the appearance has penetrated into the super sensible world itself and so our consciousness however has passed over from the inner being as the object to the other side into the understanding so our consciousness has come from the uh, inner world into the outside it's not inner consciousness but it's also outside it's it's an all pervasive consciousness is the understanding meanwhile the outside has um, become because of this cancellation of differences come uh, inside as the understanding so there is a difference between inside and outside here so if you take a very pure crystal uh, clean glass and spit into it you cannot swallow it once again so there's an outside uh, but we swallow uh, saliva all the time. So there is a difference between inside and outside. The inside dude, uh, goes outside in this, uh, in the nature of this understanding, consciousness into understanding and outside comes inside in this process of cancellation of differences. Thank you so much.